Dear students, this is our second lesson on ratios. Today I will be explaining to you uh, our lesson objective is going to be how to simplify ratios in the form 1 is to k or 1 is to n and then n is to 1. So again, we're going to talk about ratios today and our objective is going to be simplifying ratios in the form 1 is to k or k is to 1 so either the first number will be 1 or the last number will be 1 so how we are going to deal with that so I'm going to start immediately let's say that we have a ratio so simplify the ratio 6 is to 12 in the ratio 1 is to k so we have 6 and 12 in this case 1 is a multiple of the other so if I have 6 is to 12 and I needed 1 is to something for 6 to become 1 I had to divide by 6 so dividing by 6 will get 1 is to 2 and that is our final result um, I would like to note that in this lesson our answers will not always be whole numbers okay so if you are asked to simplify 1 is to something or something is to 1 it's, it's not, it's not uh, a requirement that the answer will be a whole number the important part would be that if I told you 1 is to something so then the first number the first number should be 1 so let's find some examples so simplify in the form 1 is to k the first example 7 is to 140 so that is equal to as you can notice I need 7 to become 1 now for 7 to become 1 I need to divide by 7 so this is 140 divided by 7 which gives me 1 is to 20 second example simplify in the form 1 is to k 3 is to 2 so let's see I need 3 to become 1 for 3 to become 1 I have to divide by 3 so I have 1 is 2 2 thirds and I can leave my answer as it is all right or I can write 1 is to 0 0.666 so 6 recurring third example simplify 5 is to 2 in the form 1 is to n so I need 1 is to something for 5 to become 1 I have to divide by 5 so that's 2 fifths I can leave my answer as it is or 1 is to 0 0.4 another example simplifying the form 1 is to k 3 is to 2 and 2 thirds now as you can see we've got a fraction it is an improper a mixed fraction and uh, as I said last time yesterday in fact if if we have a mixed fraction first we have to change that fraction to an improper fraction so I get 3 is 2 3 and 2 thirds becomes 3 times 2 6 plus 2 8 8 on 3 now I need to get that 1 is to something remember that for 3 to become 1 I have to divide by 3 so I have to divide 8 and 8 on 3 divided by 3 now if, if I don't have a calculator how is that worked out so I have 1 is 2 8 on 3 remains as it is remember that 3 is on 1 division becomes times times 3 on 1 3 cancels out so the answer is 1 is to 8 ok 1 is to 8 so this is the first part eh? I have changed I have changed 
um, these uh, these uh, fractures as in the form one is to n. Now suppose I have to change n is to one, so simplify in the form k is to one. So suppose I have four euro is to twenty euro, and I need to simplify that ratio. So I know that it is something is to one. For 20 to become 1, I need to divide by 20. So that is 4 on 20. So that gives me uh, the ratio of 0 0.2 is to 1. Or 2 to 1 fifth is to 1. Same, same result. Another example. Simplify the ratio. 3 is to 12 in the form k is to 1. So that becomes something is to 1. Remember that 12, I need to get 12, 1. So I need to divide by 12. So dividing 3 by 12, I get my result, which is 1 fourth is to 1. Or, same result, 0 0.25 is to 1. I work out another example. Suppose I have 5 weeks is to um, uh, seven days in the form n is to one. So first I'm going to equivalent, uh, make equivalent ratios by changing weeks into days, first of all, so that I have same units. Remember, I should always have same units. So five weeks multiplying by seven will get 35. So I have 35 days is to seven days. Now the seven days has to become one. For 7 to become 1, I need to divide by 7. So dividing 35 by 7, I get my result, which is 5 is to 1. Okay? So that's, that's, how, that's how it is done. Now, why is this important? This is important because when we're going to use these um, uh, types of ratios, especially 1 is to k or 1 is to n, in our next lesson, which will be about map ratios. Hope you have understood. Um, see you next lesson.